There are four main types of quantitative research designs including descriptive research, correlational research, quasi-experimental research, also known as causal comparative research, and experimental research. The easiest way to understand the different approaches to quantitative research design would be by considering the extent to which a researcher seeks to control different variables during the research process. Considering the quantitative approaches as a continuum, one end will represent a design where the variables are not controlled at all and only observed with the connection among such variables being described. In contrast, the other extreme will represent a design where variables are closely controlled and the relationship among these variables are established. The middle area of the continuum represents a blend between the extremes of not controlling variables, only observing them, and complete control of variables describing their relationships. Let's look at descriptive research. Descriptive research is a quantitative research design that describes the current status of specifically identified variables. Descriptive research projects are designed in a way that they provide systematic information about a phenomenon. In descriptive research, a researcher will not begin with the hypothesis, but will develop a hypothesis after data collection. The synthesis and analysis of data will provide the test hypothesis in descriptive research. The careful measurement of each variable and the selection of such variables are required in descriptive research. Examples of descriptive research include a description of the attitudes of scientists regarding global warming, a description of the types of physical activities that occur in nursing homes and how frequently such activities occur is also an example of descriptive research. Number two, correlational research. Generally, correlational research will attempt to determine the extent of a relationship between two or more variables using statistical data. The correlation or research design investigates and interprets the relationship between different variables. The correlation or research design recognizes patterns and trends in data but does not go deeper in analysis to prove the causes of the observed patterns. Determining cause and effect is therefore not the main focus of correlation or research but rather a mere description of trends and patterns in data. Correlation or research involves only studying the distribution of variables and data relationships. Variables are also not manipulated with such variables being only identified and studied as they occur in the natural setting. Examples of correlational research include the relationship between diet and being overweight or the relationship between appearance and self-esteem. Number three, quasi-experimental research. Quasi-experimental research is a quantitative research approach that attempts to establish a cause and effect relationship among variables being studied. Quasi-experimental research is quite similar to a natural experiment but with key differences. In quasi-experimental research, the independent variable will be identified but will not be manipulated by the researcher. The effects of the independent variable on the dependent variable will also be measured. In quasi-experimental research, the researcher will also not randomly assign groups but must use the groups that are pre-existing or which are naturally occurring. The independent variable represents the control group in quasi-experimental research which are exposed to a specific treatment and are studied and compared to groups that are not exposed to a specific treatment. In quasi-experimental research, the treatment represents the dependent variable. In quasi-experimental research, determining causes has to be done carefully because other variables including known and unknown variables could still affect the outcomes. Examples of quasi-experimental research include the effect of gender on athletic achievement and the effect of age on mental capacity. Number four, experimental research. Experimental research is a quantitative research approach normally referred to as true experimentation. Experimental research relies on scientific methods to establish cause and effect relationships between different variables that make up a study. The standard way of actual experimentation is a laboratory study, but this might not always be the case. 
A true experiment is any study where an effort is made to identify and control all the other variables except the one that is being studied. In experimental research, an independent variable is manipulated to determine its effect on the dependent variables. Subjects will also be randomly assigned to experimental treatments rather than identification of such subjects in natural settings. Examples of experimental research include the effect of cardio exercises on the weight of postpartum women, the effect of a new treatment plan on breast cancer, and the effect of positive reinforcement on adherence to an exercise regime. Generally, the quantitative research approach relies on deductive reasoning with a researcher forming a hypothesis and then collecting and analyzing data to prove the hypothesis as false or not. Thank you for watching. Do you have any questions on the different approaches to quantitative research? Post it in the comment section and I promise to answer all of your questions. Do not forget to like and subscribe to make this video more visible to other people like you.